<laughs> All right, so, so I think it's time I go back to playing one of the dumbest games I've ever played on the console and make myself a complete illiterate dumbass. Bliss, I don't know if you were here or not, but every time I was trying to read any article for whatever hint or puzzle game, uh, needless mm -hmm. to say, I, I can be quite illiterate. What place is this? Unfortunate. I mean, I want to point out that Golden didn't say I'm awesome. Betrayal. No! <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Anyway. <laughs> so where the fuck am I? I. I... <laughs> All right. Good lordy. He's not even paying attention. I, no. I, I so oh, I'm love. in France. I love, guys. He's concentrating. Yeah, he's concentrating. Ooh, he's in France now. Bonjour. You cheese eating the monkeys. Yep. What? And a bonjour. God damn it. I was going to say. I'm on the me. I am. I was going to say. Sacre bleu. I drink too. Sacre bleu. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> okay, here's a sad thing. My mom would get at me if I do not pronounce certain French or Italian words right. She would get at me for it. Also, this is, um... Damn it. Well, that's all I have to say to your mom. <laughs> I was quoting a, a Simpson scene. I was quoting a Simpson scene of that, um... I forgot the name of that dude with the red beard. Dude with the red beard? Red is beard? Scottish dude? I'm yeah. gonna be laughing my butt and off it's red he beard. Starts, he starts becoming a French teacher and he just goes like, Bonjour! You cheese eating said and the monkeys! God damn it. I gotta get used to how I select things. Okay, so let's go down this lane. Oh my god, the fucking map on this is more complicated. <laughs> I guess that's the idea. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be the point. Okay, let's go over here. Ask Pussy, so run, what run, is run, your run, favorite comfort? Sound. Um... Ow. I guess my mama's fried chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm. Mm. That's not That's a good comfort food. Because I also love my Tex-Mex, and I kind of view that as a comfort food. So I also <laughs> really love queso and chips with, um... Uh -oh. Um... Either fajitas or um, uh, a chimichanga. Ooh, chimichanga! I love chimichangas. Give me chimichanga! Give me chimichanga! Pickle bread, come quick! Pickle bread, come quick! Chimichanga! 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 I'm sorry, I had to do picky pie there. <laughs> oh, you no! Make it stop! Make it stop! The only way to make her stop is to okay, spill the be beans. Never! Speaking of beans, beans, you know how many words rhyme with bean? Bean. Unclean! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry! You're I not can, sorry. Okay, I can't help that- Okay, I can't help that I can do a good Pinkie Pie voice, okay? You're not sorry. I am not sorry! You're, You're not, not sorry at all! Oh, you shush lot. <laughs> what do I have like on my chicken? <laughs> Barbecue? Ooh. Oh, it's fried chicken, so I don't think that I think if it was a, if it wasn't fried, it's, I think they, that's what they were. There we about. go. If it's not like fried, then there goes I don't the know. Uh, neither. I, I I would prefer. To... Well, if you um if you try doing a, a cooking fry uh, chicken with the uh, lemon pepper or honey barbecue, honestly, in my opinion, I prefer the honey barbecue because lemon pepper, while it's fine. Putting it on fried chicken can it overpowers the taste of the Mm-hmm. I'll agree with that. Honey barbecue helps keep it somewhat balanced, but give it the right kind of sweetness, but it's not overpoweringly sweet because of the barbecue sauce. Why is it that whenever I count on a Koopa that has a uh, that has a bag or something that or an item to collect, I bounce like elsewhere, I, like ricochet off. Mm-hmm. Because you, you know it's like, okay, so I stomp under the Koopas and I, like, bounce like normal. But the ones who have bags or items, 
I ricochet and I fall into a different direction. I'm like, what the hell? I'm trying to collect something. Why else do you think I'm trying to crush them? And yes, you but it's lagging sense. to death. God fucking damn it! Just saying. Also, Rainbow Dash fan asks, "Ask Blisk, in your opinion, what restaurant chain has the best fries?" Puffy. Which which what? Which restaurant chain like chain restaurant? Has the best uh, I mean, if I had to choose, uh, I like to support Chick Fil A for the obvious, because <laughs> uh, they're they're hobophobes or something. How do you call it? Yeah, they're hobophobes. I hate them. Um, I don't really care for KFC because they're greasy as hell. I prefer <laughs> Golden Chick. You, you and my mother both, because <laughs> she really does like uh, Golden Chicks. Is how they. Now, for me, I my case does, is not just because of grease. Usually because of I have very sensitive teeth. I can't really chew really cr crunchy. So the softer the crunch, the better. That's why I prefer grilled chicken more than fried chicken. There we go. <laughs> All right. But it's because of my teeth. It has nothing to do with diet related stuff. It's because of... Though personally, my mama's fried chicken's best. Can't be my mama. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. As for me, I'm not really picky when it comes to fried chicken. As it's long as it, as long as it tastes good, it's fine. Oh shit. E.g., you might want to put a headset in or something. Yeah, you're kind of echoing on my end as well. So hmm, I didn't see yeah. it. All right, time for another <laughs> illiterate lecture. <laughs> The Arcadee Triumphy. I, I, I could be mispronouncing that. So the Arc de Triumphy, or the Arc of Triumph, was built by the architect Chalgrin on the orders of Napoleon. Yet honor the French Empire and the triumph of the French armies during the Revolution. Napoleon died before the structure could be completed in 1836. A small museum inside an arch um, commemorates uh, both the history of the great general and the building itself. In 1920, the arch uh, became a site of the tomb of the unknown soldier. Everything at 6.30, uh, a delegation from an old soldier's association rekindles the tomb's torch. Okay. Hmm. And I think it's pronounced the Arc de uh, Trompe. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now, Trompe. It's you gotta love how French like to pronounce English words. Anyway. Uh, it's more It's more like a, a Latin, because uh, French is a Latino language. Mm -hmm. Alright. The Eternal Flame. Alright, let's ask away. When was the uh, building completed? Uh, that would be 1836. Who is responsible for rekindling the torch at the at the tomb? Shit. The Soldiers Association. Uh, the end of the you said torching. Wait, what? <laughs> for some reason, I misheard you saying torch. <laughs> torch. <laughs> my fa <laughs> torch. It, my favorite fire Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, mm. I may have to reread this again, but I'm gonna take a wild guess. Boy. Oh, no, I got it right. Woohoo! I got $1,700. Hey. <laughs> Alright. Oh, solid. Yeah. What kind of game? It's a... Uh, it's a game. But it's a stupid yeah. game. But a game, no less. <laughs> oh, Bliss, did you hear that Myth Pony is coming to BronyCon? I heard him. Peace. Hey. Said, I <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Wait, who's coming? Myth Pony. Myth Pony. Oh, Mitty. Good to see her coming. Yeah, right. I'm actually really happy. She's right. fun to chat with. Oh, yeah, no. She comes in. Kaboom. 
<laughs> There's like not a lot of alicorn OCs I'm able to socialize with. No, <laughs> Just about every alicorn I have met, with the exception of uh, Starry Flame, uh, Pristine, and Heather Bloom. Uh, just about every person I met who has an alicorn OC was either really stuck up or entitled. So it's rare that I find somebody with an alicorn OC who isn't that. Yeah. Don't get me started with the entitlement people. I've been watching a lot of Reddits um, about entitled parents or yeah, you know that entitled. stuff. Bothers... Oh, you watch that stuff too. I watch it a lot. Oh yeah. Why does everyone watch that stuff if it bothers them so much? It well, doesn't no. really, it's not so much as a bothering, it kind of is more, well, okay, you want me to explain why I watch it? Sure. Okay, I watch it to make me feel better about myself. <laughs> because yeah, I, I, I am a person that beats myself up every all the time. I feel like I'm not a good person. And then I hear these stories about these people who are god freaking awful. Oh, yeah. And, and then I'm like, okay, so... I'm not that bad. So, uh, here's something that'll also make you feel better. Another illiterate lecture. The Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Yay! Yay! The, tower that has, the tower that has come to symbolize Paris was designed by Gustave Eiffel. I, I, pardon my mispronunciation Eiffel. There. Gustave Eiffel. Eiffel Tower. Okay, Gustave Eiffel. Eiffel. An engineer. The tower was built for the two World's Fair of 1889. It is uh, 1,050 uh, feet High to build the entire uh, entirely of, entirely of steel. 2.5 million rivets hold it together. The Eiffel Tower has its own post office, and letters posted there will bear its impressive postmark. Once the tallest building in the world, it is now dwarfed by the Empire State Building and Chicago Sears Tower. Burn. Oof. Ouch. All right. So. Uh, Patty. Man, I would love if that was like. That'd be an obvious tour attraction I would definitely like to check out. How tall would someone have to build a building before it started leaning? I don't know. For what let's see, for what occasion was it ever built for? Also, the Leaning Tower of Pisa doesn't count because it's designed that way. Mm -hmm. What is the profession of the man who designed it? I've, oh, uh, he was an engineer. Yay, I got $1,400. Uh, oh, right. um, the reason one. why I check out the entitled parents or anything entitled because it's a reminder of me of what to be what like a parent and I just can't help but to just shake my head it's like oh good god some of these guys are stupid I mean surely knowing that that stuff bothers you is evidence enough that you're gonna do good or are doing yeah. good like some of them are like really flippin' terrible. What's that are the more amusing is when they are, like, combined with pro-revenge. Yeah, see, I like, sometimes we'll just hear the stories where it's an entitlement story and no justice happens, but then you get the ones that justice happens. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> fuck, I hurt. Oh, my finger. Ugh. One of them in particular, oh, I don't remember what it was, um, but it, there was, like, some pro-revenges where, like, Oh god, that is like so evil, evil for the OP, but very well played. <laughs> oh, they were like, uh, Twilight it was, some of them were like, so the stream. Oh, sorry. Yeah, some of them were like pure evil in pro revenge. You're like, holy crap, like this one dude got an entire town going to complete meltdown. All right, like, guys. It fell apart. All right, so here comes another illiterate lecture. These happen kind of like in a very short span of time after I collect Ooh. all the items. So, the Cathedral of Notre Dame. And yes, I pronounce it like that. Go suck a cock. Construction. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, Ooh. actually, that's how it's pronounced, Golden. Notre Dame. Yeah, Notre Dame. All right. Construction of King Louis uh, nine's, uh, the Ninth's uh, big project. The Cathedral of the Notre Dame, Our Lady, began in uh, 1163 and took 150 years to complete. God damn. Every detail of the Gothic architecture was used in its design. Situated in the banks of the Ile de Dallas... I how the fuck am I supposed to say that? Notre Dame can hold 9,000 people. The church is especially known for its huge rose-colored stained glass window. Thank you for hosting Renaki0586. Um, 
Okay, so <laughs> the church is especially known for its huge rose-colored stained glass window. The window was illustrated with 80 pictures taken from an Old Testament. This is the home of lovable Quasimodo, the hunchback from Victor Hugo's novel, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Hellfire! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I forgot you guys like I forgot you guys like to sing. Oh, oh you yeah. shush logic! <laughs> I love that movie so much. Right, so the, the cathedral is an example of what architectural style? Gothic, El Ed I can't say that. Old Testament or Art Deco? Well, fuck. The top two answers are the ones that I remember. Okay, so I got it right. God damn it! Discord, stop being a piece of shit. See, I keep thinking that maybe it's a problem on my ends, but no, is anybody else getting that problem with him? No, yeah. I'm getting it too. Okay, good. I, I'm not going insane. I hate it when I think <laughs> oh, it's my God fault damn it. and then I get paranoid. <sighs> Let's see. Got to re come back here. Oh my God, Philly Celestia, yeah, she's so cute. She has a really big head. <laughs> big round head. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Sweet. I got 11, oh, like 1100. Sorry, that song's all stuck in my head. Thanks a and lot, Golden. And copyright strike. At least I want. Okay, no, it doesn't count if it's vocal. It don't count. Because you can't get a copyright strike for vocal. Yeah, if that happens, that's a that's copyright abuse. Derek Savage, I'm fucking looking uh -huh. at you. That's Disney. Um, uh, there's this uh guy on YouTube who does a lot of them. Actually, there's two of them that do that. And Disney has not got at him for diddly squat, so they can't go after people who would voice cover. Oh, nice. Oh, th yeah. Get in the fucking really? pipe. There we go. Yay. Yeah, yeah, my belly. <laughs> The two that are uh, really great singers, and they do a lot of Disney cover, voice covers. One of them is Caleb, uh, what's his last name again? Caleb something. Starts with an H. Fuck, ah, I forgot. But the other one is known as Jonathan Young. Oh. Both really amazing singers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, his uh, his Hellfire covers like yeah. Oh, Jonathan Young's is version. Some of his metal versions stuff some really good. I especially like when he does the villain ones because it's like fittingly dark and evil. Oh yeah, so it's like no. oh BRB. yeah. Okay. And hello, Twilight Flower. I see you noticed that it's me! Thank you! Is it... Who's Twilight Flowers? That's why I sparkle as a florist? <laughs> this is the chapel... Oh! I see where you are now. You're in Mexico! Or that, in the proper term, Get, out. get out of here! Thank you. Okay. Alright, so... Explain that I can... I can actually I uh, pronounce the uh, French words, but uh, but with my uh Mexican accent and with my Spanish accent. <laughs> yeah, because again, like um French is, is one of the the Latino languages. That's true. All right, cool. All right, uh, no, I got Yoshi there. Portuguese. All right, there's, sitting there. Spanish. Let's see. Yeah, there's Spanish. There's Spanish, Portuguese, French, um, Catalan. I? And Italian. That's five of them. Oh, there I am. Okay. So I gotta go a little further to... Well, I gotta, like... Let's go to that bottom area where those three Koopas are. And start from bottom to top. So that way I can start grinding, uh... Apologize for the dog in the background. Bark, bark. Dodge. Marigny. What's that dodge doing? She's just barking because she's a barker. <laughs> yep, that's what dogs do. They bark, bark, bark. I just sounded like They're, fucking she's Ducky She's barking from, up the wrong tree. I just suddenly sounded like fucking Ducky from the Land Before Time. 
Uh, no, don't remember. He's so fucking annoying. Shut up. Yeah. I thought she was a cute character. I mean, she is cute, but when she goes like, yep, 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 it, it does feel a little desperate no. to try to make her cute. No, 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 no. The best dinosaur will always have to be Spike. <laughs> but I thought he was a... No, no, there's an <laughs> actual... Like the dino from the land before... There was another one, there was another character who was named Spike, but he was a dinosaur from Land Before Time. I know. Oh. Uh, Stegosaurus. He uh, barely talked. Yoink. He, yeah, he Jesse. doesn't even talk at all. Jesse. Uh, he does I, just I know, eat, I, was, eat. I was having fun. Oh, you were just trolling. No, it's okay. Fine.